What's up, Smart Homers? My name's Aaron. Third Reality was kind enough to send me a set of their Zigbee Smart Chains that just came out to test out. And I gotta say, they work super well and are a very simple design, and they work great in home systems. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you to the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. If you're a DIYer, but don't have the equipment or precision needed for your projects, PCBWay is a one-stop shop for all your electronics project needs. Not only do they provide PCBs, but also custom CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, and sheet metal fabrication. If you have a project that you want to do a prototype of, they can provide everything you need to bring your design to life. Check out their amazing services in the link in the description below. The first time I saw these shades was in a video by At My Home from CES last year. I was super impressed with their modern look and the fact that they decided to put the motor in the moving part of the shade rather than the stationary part. These shades have modern gray and white colors that fit in well with white window casing and a clean square look that's pretty cool. Another unique feature about this device is that there's a set of local control buttons directly on that moving part of the shade. Above one of these buttons is a little window behind which is an infrared receiver because yes, this thing comes with an IR remote as well. Don't forget, if you don't want to use a remote, you can always use a smart button like this Zigbee smart button from Third Reality. It has the capability to single press, double press, and hold so you have multiple actions from one button. Underneath that little control section of the unit, on the underside of the moving part of the shade, is a little limit switch, which allows you to set the closed position of the shade once it's installed. On the other end of the shade, on that moving part of the shade, there's a little battery compartment that can easily be opened with a little screwdriver that houses four AA batteries. As far as the shading section itself, it's actually made with aluminum foil and covered with a non-woven plastic fabric. This provides for excellent blackout properties and the shape of the shades also makes them pretty good as sound dampeners and insulators. They come with brackets for mounting them inside or on your window frame and mounting them literally requires two screws. As far as widths go, they come in a variety of widths from 27 inches all the way up to 39 inches in one inch increments, but they actually recently said they're gonna supply a 20 inch as well. For all the different width options, the length is the same at 72 inches. It's not a problem if you don't use the full 72 inches of length. So this is a Zigbee device, as I mentioned. And as far as device compatibility goes, I understand there are custom device handlers written for Hubitat and SmartThings. And in Home Assistant, they work with ZHA, which I'll be showing here, and soon, if not already, Zigbee to MUTT, thanks to Jeff at Slacker Labs. After a five minute install, just screwing the brackets in where they're supposed to go, you're good to go. Before adding this to your hub of choice, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set the closed position of the device. This can always be changed later on. Install the batteries and then press the up arrow on the device to fully retract the shade. Once done, press the down control and allow the shade to descend. For most inside the casing installations, the bottom of the shade is gonna descend until it makes contact with the bottom side of the window casing, at which point that little limit switch is gonna be depressed and the shade is gonna stop. It stops so fast, there's not even a visible slackening of the shade when it comes in contact with that casing. Very impressive. When it stops, that stop position is saved and that's it, you've set your open position. If you have these obnoxious crank out windows like I do in my house, you're gonna to have to stop the shade with your finger by tapping that limit switch because otherwise it's gonna come in contact with that crank and it's gonna keep going down. Once that's done, setup in ZHA is super simple. To put the device into pairing mode, you just gotta press and hold the stop button on the device itself and hold it for five seconds or until the red light flashes. In a bit, it should show up in ZHA and you should see a cover entity with open, close and stop options, a switch entity that sets the close position of the shade, a binary sensor that tells the open and close state of the shade, and a battery entity. 
As you can see with my setup, they aren't darkening the room perfectly, and that's because the 20 inch size wasn't available when I first got these from Third Reality. So that's basically it. The only thing I would like to change with these shades is if there was the ability to flip the shade material so that the stuff that's facing out would actually face in. It has a little bit cooler gray color than the stuff that's facing in, and it kind of just doesn't really match the aesthetic of my house and I would have preferred a cooler gray and if there was even an option just to choose what color you wanted that would be pretty cool so that's pretty much it for this one I really like these shades and I'm probably gonna buy more for some of the windows that face the Sun and use them throughout my house as always there's affiliate links for these shades in the description also I have some more Zigbee window covering videos coming up so if you're interested consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified when my next video comes out. If you have any thoughts or questions, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.